Hello dear students, I am Dr. Shikha Pandey, Associate Professor from Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. So today I am going to discuss about the design of a landfill. How to design a landfill for a city. As uh, uh, in the lecture series of this solid waste subject, we have already discussed about the collection of solid waste, transportation of waste, then it's a primary, then it's a transportation from primary collection unit to secondary collection unit. And after that, now we are discussing about the landfill and now we are going to discuss about the designing of a landfill for a city. Before we have discussed that how many types of landfill will be there and which method is following the landfill for the disposal of waste. So uh, today we will uh, solve one problem statement on the landfill. So first of all, what is the question is the problem statement is that the estimate the required landfill area for a community with a population of 31,000. Like a total population is 31,000 and assuming and the following condition. So in the following condition, you have to uh, estimate, we have to calculate how much area of landfill will be required. So on this, uh, on the given data, data is already given and this is the condition of the particular city. So on that basis, we have to calculate how much amount of land will be required and uh, for the landfill area, for that particular landfill. So the total population is 31,000 in that particular area and the solid waste generation rate is 2.9 kg per capita per day, means per person is uh, producing 2.9 kg of solid waste per day. Then compacted, compacted specific weight of solid waste in landfill. So the compacted specific weight is 475 kg per meter cube. As we have already discussed about this compacted specific weight because during in the landfill we will put the waste in a compacted manner. So with the, uh, if we put it in a uh, compacted manner then it will require little bit, little bit less uh, space as compared to uh, non-compacted man manner. So uh, when we uh, load the solid waste to the vehicle also then also we will calculate the space in the compacted manner only. So like that the total compacted specific weight of the solid waste in the landfill is like 475 kg per meter cube. And the average depth of the compacted solid waste is 6 meter. So for uh, the depth, the thickness, depth or thickness of the solid waste is 6 meter. Okay. So this is the data that has been given. So for this given data, we have to estimate the landfill area. So generation rate is equal to like first we will calculate the da uh, daily solid waste generation rate. So daily what is the solid waste generation rate is that generation rate is equal to 31,000 people uh, into 2.9 kg per capita uh, of waste per day divided by 1000. So 31,000 people will be there into 2.9 divided by 1000. So it will comes like 89.9 tons per day. So per day this person is this much of people is producing 89 tons of solid waste in a single day. So in a single day we are getting approximately 90 tons of solid waste for, from 31,000 people. So this 91 tons of solid waste will required. Now we will calculate how much area will be required. So required is area is equal to volume by per day total volume required upon the per day so as we have already calculated that 89.9 tons per day into 1000 kg into 1000 kg okay divided by 475 kg because this is the compacted solid waste uh, total weight will be there so 475 kg per meter cube in this way here it comes 190 meter cube per day so, uh, if we calculate for this, mu this much of uh, solid waste, so total uh, required area will be like for a single day, we want 190 meter cube per day. So, for a single waste, for 89 tons of waste per day, we need 190 meter cube of compacted space in a per day. So, for a landfill, for 31,000 of people, we required 190 meter cube per day of total space for 89.9 tons of solid waste. So now we will calculate the area required divided by the day. 
So area required, total area, how much area we required? We required 190 meter cube in a day. Into So this will be go uh, goes for all th 365 days. Because all 365 days, days, this much of waste will be there and will require this much of area for all day. So 190 meter cube per day. Here we calculate like 190 meter cube per day into 365 days. 365 days and divided upon 6 meter into because 6 meter is the thickness and this much of hectare. So it will comes like 1.15 hectare hectare of land in a year we required. We required this much hectare of land in a year. So for a city if 31,000 people will be there and they are producing approximately 2.9 kg of uh, solid waste per day then what what area what how much area of landfill will be required for these people so first we have calculated the uh, waste generated in a single days upon how much waste area how much uh, landfill area we required in a single day then we have uh, divided it with the 365 days so 190 meter cube per day we required for 89 tons of uh, solid waste in a single day so for 89 tons of uh, uh, total solid waste we required 190 meter cube per day and for this we required 365 days per year then 1.15 hectares of land we required in a single year so additionally what it is now from this we will get like this additionally the land is required for a buffer zone office and service buildings access road utility access typically this allowance varies from 20 to 40 percent so these things also keep in mind like uh, the uh, land is required for a buffer zone because in a landfill one buffer zone will be there buffer zone this buffer zone is like some uh, space for either some office or some service buildings access road utility access so in this way the allowances will be like 20 to 40 percent so then what happened next is the a more rigorous approach to the determination of the required landfill area involves consideration of the contours of the completed landfill and the uh, effects of gas production and uh, overburden compaction. So uh, when we talk about the more rigorous approach to the determination of the required landfill because more rigorous approach will be there for the determination of the area for the uh, required landfill. So for that uh, area of this required landfill some uh, more rigorous will be there and what is this things like the condition of the uh, contours of the completed landfill and the effects of gas production and overburden compaction so um, the uh, it will involves the consideration of contours of the completed landfill and the effects of gas production and then overburden compaction so determination of density of a compact solid waste with and without diversion. So for this what we have to do we have to first we have to calculate the uh, space that will be required for the compacted solid waste like with waste or sometimes without waste and the determine the specific weight in a well compacted landfill like the uh, for the solid waste with the characteristics given in the table like First, we have to calculate, we have to determine the specific weight in a well compacted landfill and determine the impact of resource recovery program on landfill requirement in which the 50% of the paper and 80% of glass and tin cans will be there. 50% is the paper, okay. And next is the uh, like 80% is uh, like tin or glass cans so this uh, when we assume that this is the characteristics of the weight uh, waste that has been given in the table so here what we have to calculate we have to calculate the density of the compacted solid solid waste like with or without waste diversion so when we go to uh, like for this waste we have to calculate the compacted solid waste so come here this has been given that this is the data so on this data we can see that this light green is like all organic nature and dark green is in or inorganic fraction. So components will be there and what is the percentage of weight and specific weight and then compaction factor. 
so for up to like like from uh, food waste paper cardboard plastic textile up to wood it will be all organic in nature otherwise the next is the glass from uh, to the tin can aluminium other metals dirt and as all are the inorganic fraction so in this way we have categorized waste into two category organic fraction and then inorganic fraction so organic fraction will degrade easily and the inorganic fraction is like uh, some inert this will be counted among the inert waste so inert waste will required it will be um, present into the soil uh, into the landfill area up to a very longer time so now comes to this point first is the solution set up for a computational table with separate uh, column first we'll make a computational table with separate column for the weight of the individual solid component the volume of the waste this that has been discarded and the compaction factors for well compacted solid waste and the compacted volume in the landfill so first is the total weight of the individual solid components the volume of the waste as discarded next is the compaction factors for well compacted solid waste then the compacted volume in the uh, landfill then what we'll do we uh, will calculate the based on the total weight of 1000 kg volume has been calculated like this volume is equal to weight upon specific weight so first we'll make one table uh, one table and uh, table so that table is like a table for following things first is the individual solid waste component individual solid waste component solid waste component next we is the column is about the volume of discarded waste so discarded waste volume third point is the compaction factor compaction factor is like compaction factor third and fourth one is like the compacted volume of the in the landfill compacted volume in the landfill compacted volume in landfill so uh, then we'll go for the calculate on the basis of we'll assume 1000 kg so volume is equal to like weight upon specific weight for food waste 90 kg has been given so 90 is like 291 kg per meter cube is equal to not 31 meter cube so next is the compacted volume compacted volume is a compaction where, uh, factor into the volume that has been discarded so compaction factor is 0.33 into 0.31 and the uh, for food waste so compaction factor is 0.33 then the volume which will be discarded is 0.31 so it is like 0.102 for the food waste so compute the compacted specific weight of the solid waste so uh, when we have to uh, basically we have to calculate the compacted specific weight for the solid waste because we will dispose the solid waste in a compacted manner so this will take very less uh, space with into the landfill so compacted specific weight is equal to total weight upon total compacted value total weight is like 1000 kg 1000 kg upon 1.8 meter cube So five fifty six kg per meter cube. Total will required is a five fifty six kg per meter cube of total specific weight will be required. Okay, now so determine the compacted specific waste of the way specific weight of the waste in the landfill in which fifty percent of the paper and eighty percent of the glass and tins are covered. So third point is about to calculate the compacted specific weight. so compacted specific weight of the waste will be calculated so first thing is that 50% is the paper and 80% is the glass and tin cans so uh, in this way first point is the determine the weight of waste by after resource recovery after resource recovery we have to determine the weight of waste so waste remaining is equal to so how much waste will be remaining after this one so 1000 kg we have already calculated so 1000 kg is the total waste remaining so 340 kg 
into 0.5 plus 80 into 0 0.80 plus 60 into 0 0.80 is equal to 718 kg. So next is a determine the volume and compacted specific weight of the waste after the resource recovery. Then we'll go for the volume remaining. So remaining volume is 1.8 meter cube, 0.537 meter cube in, into 0.5 plus 0.164 meter cube into 0 0.80 plus 0 0.101 meter cube into 0 0.80, 0 0.80. So in this way, total is the 1.30 meter cube, 30 meter cube. So this is the total volume and compacted specific weight of the waste after the resource recovery. So after resource recovery, total volume and compacted specific weight of the waste is 1.30 meter cube. You can see that we have calculated the specific weight for the uh, for the solid waste that has to be disposed. So the volume remaining means what is the area that will be remaining because here we are calculating for tin and paper and 80% of the glass tin and 50% of the paper only. Next is the determine the waste to soil ratio. Then we will calculate the next part that is about the waste to soil ratio. The first for this one point is that determine the ratio of waste to cover material as a function of the initial compacted specific weight for a solid waste streams of 17 tons per day to be placed in 3 meter lifts with a cell width of 5 meter. Slope of the working face is 3 ratio 1. So for this, we will assume that the waste is compacted initially to an average specific weight of the 350, 480 and 600 kg per meter cube. So daily cover thickness is 15 centimeter. So for this one, first, first part is to determine the daily volume of the deposited solid waste. We have to determine the daily volume of the deposited solid waste. So for this one, for 350 kg per meter cube. So total volume is the 70 tons into 1000 kg divided by 350 kg per meter cube is, is equal to 200 meter cube. For 480 kg uh, per meter cube is like VD is equal to 145.8 per uh, meter cube. So for, uh, for uh, two uh, weight specific weight we have calculated it for two specific weight first is for 350 kg per meter cube second one is 480 kg per meter cube so we have uh, we got for 200 meter cube and 145.8 meter cube next we'll calculate vd for the 600 kg meter cube so vd will be 11 uh, 116.6 meter cube then we'll calculate the uh, daily cover, daily cell, determine the length of each uh, daily cell. So for this one, for 350 kg, uh, what it is there? For 350 kg per meter cube is equal to volume, is equal to 200 meter cube upon 3 meter into 5 meter, 13.3 meter, okay? So this is the uh, length of each daily cell for uh, for first one for 350 kg per meter cube. So like that we will calculate for 480 for 600. This will be the total length of each daily cell. So for uh, for all three categories we are calculating for 400 kg also for 600 kg also. Next determine the cell surface area. So for top of the cell for top of the cell at 350 is equal to this one, like 5 we calculated, 13.3 13, uh, 13 meter is the length, each daily cover length for 350 kg meter cube. So for that total length is 13.3, 13.3 into 5 is equal to 66.5 meter square. So total area we required for the cell surface area for 350 kg per meter cube of compacted solid waste is like 66.5 meter square. Okay, so this 66.5 meter square we have calculated. 
next at for 480 for, for 480 it is like for uh, 48.5 meter square for uh, 600 it is like 7.8 into 5 5 is the total thickness of the solid waste then we will calculate the face of the cell for face of the cell it is 5 meter and this is L is a top and this is face and this is side okay so at 350 it has been given like this at 350 is equal to 13.3 into uh, under root like 3 meter square plus 3.3 meter square is equal to 126.2 meter square so like that we will calculate for next one uh, 9.7 we will get 92 meter square for 7.8 we will get 74 meter square for the side of the cell when we calculate the side face of the cell this is the side we, you can see. So for this uh, total uh, area will be like that. 5 meter into under root 3 meter square plus 3 into 3 meter square is equal to 47.4 meter square. So this is the for area for side of the cell. Okay. Now we will determine the volume of soil for daily cover. So volume of soil we are going to calculate for daily cover is like thickness of daily cover into 80 is like AS and AF. Okay. So for VC when we calculate the thickness of daily cover is we will represent by VC. So VC for 350. 350 uh, kg meter cube of compacted waste is equal to 0.15 into 66 is already given. Then 47.4, then 126. Like this, we will get 36 meter cube. Like this, for uh, VC 480, we will get 28.2 meter cube. VC 600, it is uh, like 24.1 meter cube. Next is the ratio of the waste to cover. So, ratio of the waste to cover soil is equal to 200 meter cube upon 36 meter cube. So, for this, we get 5.55 ratio 1. Next is the 145.8 meter cube, 28.2 meter cube is 5.17 ratio 1. For 600 kg of meter cube of waste, it is like this one only. Okay. So, as the initial compacted specific weight of the waste placed on the landfill increases, the ratio of waste to cover material decreases. So, initial compacted specific weight of the waste placed in the landfill will going to be increased and then what happened the ratio of the waste to cover material will be decreases and the total volume occupied for the waste that has been compacted to an initial specific weight of 600 kg per meter cube is 0.58 times the volume occupied by the waste and compacted to an initial specific weight is 350 kg per meter cube so two condition we got First is the total volume occupied by the waste that has been compacted to an initial specific weight of 600 kg per meter cube. So, 600 kg per meter cube and next is the volume of occupied by the waste compacted to the initial specific weight is 350 kg per meter cube. 350 kg per meter cube. So, uh, and all is like up to 0.58 times the volume occupied by the waste compacted to an initial specific weight of 350 kg per meter cube. So, uh, already we have calculated one. So, uh, in this way, we have calculated one um, designing of landfill, how to design a landfill for a city and how to calculate the total specific weight for a landfill. So, uh, for now, this is the some of the references of the, some of the textbook that you can prefer, refer for the further study. When you want to go for some depth analysis of this topic, you, you can get a more uh, problem statement on this landfill, designing of landfill. Okay. So now I'm concluding my lecture. At this point, we have discussed one problem statement on designing of landfill. So thank you. If you have any query or any question regarding this lecture, you can write in the comment box or you can directly mail me onto my given mail id shikha.pndui at the rate gmail.com.
so thank you for today's lecture like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates